Hi everybody, it's John from Lake Erie Chestnuts checking in. It's the middle of December 2018 and you know winter has come. We've got snow in the orchard. I've posted a few, few pictures of the trees out there. Hopefully your trees have settled in for the long winter's nap and some of you a little harder winter than others. If you're down south you have a lot better weather than us but up here in the north we get plenty of snow and cold. Uh, we're going to be checking on some chestnuts today that we have in the fridge. This will be my first check since putting them in the in the dirt and kind of starting the cold stratification process as they call it. So some of you are new, some of you followed this, some of you seen me do this many years here now. Uh, we'll kind of dig in here and see what we got. Hopefully we don't have any mold issues. So you can see I just have a pretty simple setup with just a couple of little beer coolers or wine fridges. Uh, that I commandeered after I got a larger size one for the wife out in the garage and uh, I put them in here and they seem to do great. Uh, a little more problem with this one because you get a little more light in there so I haven't really addressed that but I think I may have a little more problem with sprouting or a little premature trying to push something up although I do keep it cold so there won't be as much problem but pitch black is I like that better I don't know if it really makes a strong difference. But this year, I have some chestnuts that I grew in my own orchard that I have in bags. Uh, and those look like they have no problems. Uh, we'll look at those a little closer here. Uh, and then we'll dig them out. If you remember, I did two containers this year. I put them in October 12th. And so we'll dig those out and take a look. So these I just put in some bags. These are the, the ones I put from my own chestnut. This is from a tree in row C20. And you can see this, I just have the chestnut sitting in there. And we'll see if I have mold issues or not. I did not do any particular uh, prep for these. Uh, so we'll see whether or not they have any problem or not. Uh, some people will put them in a weak bleach solution. Some people warm them up to a 120 degrees, I believe, for a few minutes and try to kill off any worms or anything. It's very early in the orchard. There are chestnuts in the area within a mile, uh, but, you know, so I'm sure there's going to be weevils that I'll have to contend with, but I don't know that I have that problem yet. Well, this is a first time for me. I think that temperature's a little cool. We got ice in there. That being said, underneath, not terribly frozen. You can see the nuts. Some of them are attached here. So we'll see. Right now the nuts look okay. I do have a nut or two that has a little bit of early mold this don't, doesn't bother me but if it gets white and clustered i don't know if you can see on this maybe i'll move this over here closer can you see that little bit of greenish color right above my finger you see that color that doesn't really bother me it's a little bit of mold i don't think it'll affect the seed if it gets all white and holds all the soil underneath it that'll bother me so we'll see we'll see what it holds out this year you can do everything right for years and then all of a sudden have a problem so we'll see what it turns up and i got to get all this put back into the jigs hall puzzle as it came up some of the seeds are frozen i you know people ask me does it matter if your seeds freeze and everything i read says you don't want them to freeze so we'll see how they will turn out this year. I'm not too worried. I don't think they're f so frozen that they're not going to work, but we'll try. We'll see what happens. Put them back in. And uh, we'll see what comes of these things. Turn the fridge down some, put the packages back in. 
growing a few persimmons this year. Let's see if this one is a little lower. Not frozen. That one looks fine. Just a little moisture in the soil. This is exactly like it. A little bit of moisture on the lid. Pick up a nut or two. They look great. I don't dig every one of them up and move them around and just check them and see if I have any major cataclysmic problems. Right now it doesn't look like I do. I'm going to put them back to sleep. Well, that's my brief little update looking at the chestnuts, seeing how they're doing in cold stratification. Always a little something to worry about that usually always works out. We'll see if it does. Got that little bit of frost on the top of the, the one set of seeds, but I think I've turned down the fridge enough that it's not gonna have a big problem. We'll just have to see how it all turns out. Hopefully your seeds are doing well. Check them about once a month. That's about what I do. I never add water or moisture. Once I have that original minimal moisture in the soil and put the nuts in them, I never add any more and I never needed to. Uh, so. As long as you get that piece right, you should be good until you put them up uh, under the lights in February, March, April. Uh, I typically have been doing early April and have been doing just fine with that. So if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me. Listen, if you're looking for a Christmas present for me, go onto YouTube under my name, John Sangal. Click subscribe to the YouTube channel. It's a little mix of everything. It's chestnuts, it's hunting, it's going to be occasional looking at birds, random uh, things there. But you know, when you click like to that or, or subscribe, you'll be notified when the first, that next video comes up. Uh, you'll be able to kind of interact with me a little more there. I occasionally put live videos there. You can follow me at Lake Erie Chestnuts on Facebook. And that kind of just grows uh, the brand there so that we can kind of spread this chestnut knowledge together. Thanks a lot, have a great holiday. Thanks for watching.